Hi, this is Bob Kay from Biker Pros. We're here at the 2012 Sturgis Bike Rally and we're under the tent of the 9th Annual AMD World Championship. I have with me today Angela, who is not only a model but a custom bike builder. She works for AFT Customs, which is a unique business model combining the talents of modeling and building custom bikes. Now Angela, um, there has to be some advantages to this combination, uh, so can you tell us what got you interested and in how you got started in this business? Obviously bike building is a world in its own, but being able, to, uh, being able to model the bikes as well in the process has been something that's been completely a blessing to everyone here. Um, being a female bike builder, we came into this industry with a lot of people curious about whether or not we'd be able to do this. And then on top of that, modeling the bikes as well has been something that surprised a lot of the industry. So um, getting started in this has been an amazing process. You know, uh, pretty models and hot custom bikes have been a tradition for a long time. Um, but I'm sure there's more to it than just kind of standing together and taking pictures. Um, and having this unique perspective from building the bikes, can you tell us a little bit about what you're thinking of and what your job as a model with the motorcycle and not overshadow but enhancing the motorcycle is? Right. There's a lot that you have to think about as a model. It's not just a pretty girl coming out in a bikini. Um, there's different bikes and for every different bike you're going to need to model differently. Um, some bikes that are a little bit more husky are going to need to look leaner and slimmer and you're really going to want to show off the entire bike. But for a bike like this, you're going to have something with a little bit more detail to it and you really want to show off those little details because everybody may not see that right away. So everything that you see in those calendars, they're done with purpose and with the bike in mind because it's not about the model and how good she looks, it's about how good she makes that bike look. So okay, so that's easy to say that it's not about the model and how good she looks. So can you give us an example with this particular bike of how you would like enhance the picture yet keep the focus on the motorcycle? With this bike, since there's a lot of detail to it, you're going to want to be placing your hands on the bike because it's going to draw the attention with those lines leading to those details. So for this bike, I may get down low, close to it, so that way since the focus is on me, I'm leading their focus to the bike. So right there, my hand is leading towards the details of the bike. I'm very close to the engine, I'm very close to the bike, and everybody's eyes are going to lead closely to whatever I'm touching and I'm looking at. Now a lot of times over the years I see a lot of models and they climb over the bikes and they're sitting on it. You know, one thing the builders are always concerned about is the parts and all the work, so you understand that. But is that really one of the best views or does that take away from the bike? Um, some, it's the, it's about the way that you model the bike and how you're laying on the bike and everything that you're doing with the bike and obviously being a builder myself, that's a main concern for me is that I'm not going to do anything to damage the bike. Um, especially when you're wearing heels or I have jewels on my bikinis, you want to be completely careful of the bike. Um, but laying across it and getting on the bike, it gets the viewer involved with the bike because all of those lines, it's all about art, artistic lines and leading lines and where those lines are leading the viewer's eyes. So when you're laying across a bike, you're displaying the entire bike. So can you show us the proper way of how you would do that without damaging it and yet again, like you're always saying, enhance the bike? So I'm going to get on the bike. What I'm going to be careful of is where my heels are going and where my jewels are going so I don't scratch any part of this bike. But at the same time, I'm going to make this bike look very long and I'm going to try and highlight the detail that goes into it. So as I lay across this bike, I was very careful not to hit my heel on anything and I placed the center of my heel on the handlebar so it's not damaging anything. Then also letting my leg lean down, that leads all of their eyes to the detail of this bike. Placing my hand in the back over here, it leads their eyes to the detail of this bike. So that's something that I keep in mind every time I choose a pose or a pose that I'm doing. Obviously I want to make sure I look good, but the most important thing is making the bike look good. Well, thank you, Angela. I think this has been very informative. 
probably very motivational to a lot of young women that are thinking about getting into modeling. Um, I know, like we said, it's a lot more than just looking pretty. It's a lot of hard work. Um, a lot of hours spent, you know, at the shows and traveling. But is it worth it for you? It's incredible. I just want to encourage all the women out there. This is a male-dominated industry, but any woman can get in here, get their hands dirty, and build a bike. Well, thank you again, and thank an AFT and the AMD World Championship.